Good morning, everyone. You're joining us live for this program of uh, Ali Technology Muda AI 2021 in conjunction with Mingo Science Negara. So, welcome, everyone. We'll be starting our program soon uh, in a few more minutes. So, meanwhile, you can go grab some food, you can go grab some drinks, and please make yourself comfortable. So, if you have any questions or comments, you can you can always type it in the chat in the comment section below. So, see you all shortly. Sorry, can you guys hear me now? Okay, sorry. Uh, welcome everyone for those who have just joined us. Uh, this is our program in conjunction with Mingo Science Negara, which is called Ali Technology Mudai AI 2021. So before we begin, I just like to uh, introduce and thank some of our sponsors as well as, uh, as our supporters. So first, we'd like to thank um, the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation. In short, we call them MOSTI. And also, uh, if you are not aware, Mingu Science Negara is actually a wonderful initiative by MOSTI in trying to encourage students to uh, participate in science and technology, not only in school, but outside of school as well. So we'd like to thank uh, MOSTI once again for this opportunity that we'll be able to uh, organize this program. So next, I'd like to so thank our partner, Stampedia for all the materials that you'll be seeing today, okay? So uh, before I continue, there's also one more person I'd like to introduce, which is Fatin. Hi, Fatin. Hi. So Hi, Fatin is, is my colleague in Tegdong Penang, so she'll be helping me throughout this uh, program. Okay, so everyone say hi to Fatin. Hi. Hi, semua. Selamat pagi. Okay, thanks, Fatin. So, Fatin is helping us uh, behind the scenes. So, you might not see her uh, uh, quite often, but you'll see her once in a while. Okay? Okay. So, that's all the introduction I have for you all today. So, I hope everyone on our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook uh, can see us and hear us, okay? So, maybe just to check, can I get everyone in the... Facebook and YouTube to say hi, good morning. Can you all hear me okay? Okay, okay, good. Okay, so uh, without any further ado, uh, let's go into our first, first part of our workshop, which is the introduction to artificial intelligence. Okay, 
So before I elaborate, uh, I nak tanya semua orang, have you all heard of this term artificial intelligence before or not? Is this a uh, concept new to you all? Have anybody heard before? I'm sure some of you uh, probably heard about this before, but uh, don't know what is it. So don't worry. Even if you don't know, it's the first time. Today, we'll go through what is actually artificial intelligence, or in short, AI. Okay? Okay, so I want to ask everyone here today. How do you feel? Let's say in an exam, you get all the questions correct. Or if you manage to solve a very challenging puzzle in a very, very fast time, or you can remember and recognize all the players in your favorite football team or basketball team, or even when you make your friends laugh when you tell a joke, how do you all feel? Do you all feel happy, sad? So most of the times, we will feel intelligent or pandai in bahasa. We feel very... Uh, accomplished right that we managed to score full marks in exam so this is the uh the the definition of intelligence you feel very smart or you feel very jadek or pandai okay so uh, to to describe intelligence in a more formal way there are three parts to human intelligence so the first part is the ability to perceive, understand, and analyze information. The second part is the ability to learn and increase knowledge. And the third part is the ability to make decisions based on knowledge. Okay, so some of you might be wondering, apa ni? So complicated one, uh, intelligence. Okay, now mind. Let me explain it in a very simple scenario. Okay, okay let's say, let's say you are a cat lover, suka kucing. It means you like to play cats, okay? So one day while you're walking, 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 maybe you're walking to school, then you terserempak dengan kucing, kucing liar. The first time you see this cat, okay? So as a cat lover, what will you do? Usually you will approach the cat and try to pet the cat, right? Try to manja with the cat, correct or not? If you're a cat lover, okay? So this time, uh, as usual, when you see a cat, you approach it. Then you try to pet it. But suddenly, the cat scratch you. Suddenly scratch you. Then, of course, when they scratch you, of course, you will get hurt. Then your hand got scratches. So, the next time you see this cat, what will you do? You see this same cat that scratch you. Will you continue to approach it and try to pet it? No, right? Most people will avoid the cat after the first experience. So this is what we call as intelligence. How we perceive, how we understand the scenario, what is going on, and how we make decisions based on that. Okay? So this is uh, intelligence or kecedekan. Okay, next. Let's talk about animal intelligence. Do you all think animals are intelligent? I'm sure of uh, some of you all probably watch a uh, program like um, National Geographic ka or Documentary ka that talks about animals and their intelligence. So, of course, not all animals are intelligent, but some are quite intelligent, okay? They have uh, thinking skills that people say are around uh, Buddha uh, 3 4 tahun. That means they got the same IQ or same intelligence as a uh, baby. Not baby, a uh, toddler, toddler, okay? Someone in the 3 or 4 years old range. Okay, so on the screen here, you can probably see that we have a few examples of uh, smart, uh, intelligent animals. Dolphins, uh, parrots, elephants, okay? You all know like dolphins, you all can see on TV, they can perform tricks and all that, right? So these are called intelligent animals. Okay, so now I want to show you all some chonto. I show you all picture, maybe you all don't believe me. Lah. Maybe you all say, you show me picture only how I know it's intelligent or not. Inside the picture, don't look intelligent or so. Okay, don't worry. Let me show you some videos that show off their intelligence, okay?
Okay, so in the video, you can see these two monkeys, right? Uh, they're actually conducting an experiment. So uh, on the monkey on the left, the first monkey, after they accomplished the task, what did the scientists bagi dia makan? They bagi dia makan timun. timun. So timun okay lah. I dapat, I makan. But then, after that, he see his friend, the neighbor beside him. After he accomplished his task, what did he get? He get anggur or grape. So this monkey feel, eh, macam tak adil je, I dapat timun je, but the other monkey got grape. So what did the monkey do? Of course, the monkey got angry. You see, right, the monkey throw back the cucumber at the scientist because uh, the monkey know that the scientist is being unfair. That why he only dapat timun, but his friend dapat uh, anggur, which is a better reward. So here we can see that the animal is able to understand not only the task that they are supposed to do, but also understand the unfairness of the reward. Okay. So next time, if you got anjing or, or kucing at home, you need to treat it fairly or not. Uh, they are tau tau that you you are the favorite. So you must treat all your pets uh, fairly and kindly. Okay. Okay. Now I'll show you another example of uh, another animal. Okay. So this is a, what animal is this? This one we see every day in our life, right? So this is a, a crow or a burung gaga. So you might not be able to understand what is going on, okay? So on the screen now, you can see there are two test tube, right? Two tube. One tube got water inside. The other tube got food. But the food, they cannot reach. So what did this burung gaga do? This brown gaga take the stone and put inside the water so they can reach the food. If you all don't know, right? If you all uh, masih dalam uh, sekolah rendah, you all probably haven't learned about this part yet. So this one in physics is called displacement. Okay? So they guna prinsip fizik untuk uh, menyelesaikan uh, masalah ini. Okay? This one, the crow, right? Is wild, why no? It's not like just now, the previous video in an experiment in the lab. No, this one is uh, burung gagak lia. That means you see flying around one. Okay, so nobody taught this crow how what to do. Never tell him, okay, you put a stone here, you get food. Nobody tell him. The crow figure out this by itself. Okay. So, sekarang dah percaya tak? That I say, animals are, there are some animals that are smart. Okay. Okay, so now we come to artificial intelligence. Okay, we see this handsome man uh, in your screen now. This man, his name is John McCarthy. And people call him the father of artificial intelligence or Bapa Kecerdasan uh, Buatan. Okay, so why do we call him the father? Usually, father, we call someone who, who got children, right? That's why we call father. So is AI the child of uh, this John McCarthy. Okay, uh, not really. Uh. Uh, John McCarthy didn't actually uh, create AI. Okay, but he's the first one, orang pertama, to come out with the istilah artificial intelligence. He's the first uh, person to come out with this term, artificial intelligence. So before him, uh, they didn't know what to call this. They probably call it something else. But uh, this guy, very smart, he come out with this term. So everybody also like this term. They say, wow, this term sounds quite nice. Huh? Okay, okay, then we will use this term. So that's why he is known as the father of artificial intelligence. Okay, he's an American computer scientist. Uh, uh, unfortunately, he passed away 10 years ago already, around 80 years old. Okay. Okay, so now after we learn about human intelligence, we learn about uh, uh, about animal intelligence, now we go into artificial intelligence. So uh, in a simple term, right, in a simple term, artificial intelligence can say as uh, T1 is like a copycat version of intelligence. Okay, so what is this intelligence copying? So of course, it's copying the creator of this of this artificial intelligence, which is humans. Okay. So when a when a 
person or human, they are creating an artificial intelligence system or program. They model it after humans. That means they will create something that a human will do for the robot or for your AI system to follow. Okay? So like human intelligence, uh, AI can be broken down into three, three steps or so when it comes to AI, uh, whether it's considered AI or not. Okay? The first one, of course, you need to gather information. Second is to analyze it to further make uh, decisions. And the third one is to complete a task automatically with very little human interact intervention. That means the, the program or the robot will do its own thing. That means there are no humans controlling it behind. That means it runs automatically. You don't have to tell him what to do. The robot will know what to do. Okay? So it, this is what we call as AI. So now, probably you ask me, uh, kalau macam tu, is this AI? Is that AI? Semua benda AI tak? Is uh, your TV AI or not? Is your TV AI? Is your handphone AI? Okay? So you all ask yourself this question after this uh, after this program. So you all know how to differentiate what do you consider as AI atau bukan AI. Alright? So AI, uh, even without you knowing, right, it exists in a lot of parts in our life. Okay? Every, probably, every day you interact with AI, but you tak sedar because you don't know it's AI. So here are some examples. So the first one is gaming. So I'm sure there are a lot of uh, students here. Uh, students means youngster lah, youngster. So a lot of youngster, they like to play game. I'm sure a lot of you all like to play games, right? Yes or no? Confirm you all sure like to play games. Uh. I see your face so I know already. So when I was younger, I also like to play games. Okay, I like to play computer games. Okay, so in certain games, you will find AI in some games. Not all games. Not all games will have AI. So if you play games like, uh, usually multiplayer games won't have AI. So for example, if you play like uh, Fortnite, if you play like Apex Legend or even like certain Minecraft servers, usually you won't find a lot of AI because you'll be playing with your friends and other peoples. Okay, so there's not much AI. During my time, during my time, my favorite game is called Fallout. Anybody here before? Fallout. You're probably too young. Lah. You all don't know it's the game called Fallout. So Fallout is actually a single player game. Okay. So single player game, of course, you cannot play with other people. You need to play with the AI. So an uh, easy way to see whether a game got AI or not is usually in the beginning, right? They'll ask you, uh, what difficulty level you want to play? You want to play on easy? You want to play on normal? You want to play on hard? So usually these kind of games, they have uh, AI program system inside. Okay. Ah, I see a lot of people, they like say they like to play Roblox, Minecraft. Ah. Okay, okay. So this is the trend nowadays. Lah. During my time, of course, we, we prefer to play, uh, how to say, not only single player games, but we got play multiplayer games. So I don't know, you all know the game. We call it uh Quake Quick. Anybody here before the name Quick? Q U A K E Quick. It's a shooting game. Okay. So this these are some of the games I used to play with my friends when I was much younger during your age time. Alright. Okay. So next also you can find AI in some expert systems. So what are expert systems? So expert systems are things like uh, uh, macam your fingerprint sensor. So some phone nowadays have fingerprint sensor. So uh, that is considered also AI. Okay. So you have fingerprint sensor, you have retina sensor. Retina sensor is a uh, biometrics scanner for your eyes. So instead of scan your thumbprint, they will scan your eyes. Because actually, right, everybody can eyes are huh? also line tau. It's not only your fingerprint. Everyone know, right? Your fingerprint is different from everyone else. Tasama. Okay? So your eyes also is the same. Tasama. But of course, we cannot see with own, our own eyes. Lah. We need a program to actually scan to see. 
Okay. So next part is speech recognition. So speech recognition is very senang, very easy. What it does is it first you record your speech. So you tengah cakap, you rakam your perbualan. So what does he do with that speech? So a lot of things can do. So one thing you can use it to translate. So let's say now I'm talking in English. So I use this uh, program to translate English into Bahasa. So automatically, when I'm talking English, it will translate into Bahasa Malaysia. So this is speech recognition. Okay. So next part, we have face recognition. Okay. Face recognition and retina recognition different. Huh? So face recognition, it just uh, scan your face. So a lot of handphone nowadays, right? They got uh, those high-tech camera to unlock the phone. Do you all have the camera or not? Your cam, uh, your camera, pula, your handphone. Got this function or not? To unlock your handphone, you use your face. So this is what we call as face recognition. So I know you all probably ada iPhone la, ada Samsung la. So I believe all of you all pernah experienced this before. Face recognition. Right? Okay, next is text recognition. So text is written one. So now instead of recognizing uh, face all, they recognize text. So apa yang you tulis? So what do we use this text recognition for? Actually, a lot of things. But the, the simplest example that I can think of is dalam post office. Post, post, uh, post office. Tahu kan? Post office. So post office, dia orang hantar apa? Hantar surat. Correct or not? So surat, they need to sort kan? Uh, surat ni nak pergi kat Penang. Surat ni nak pergi kat Kedah. Surat ni nak pergi kat mana-mana lah. So how do they sort? Is it someone sit in front of the surat and see one by one? Oh, yang ni Penang. So I letak kat sini. Yang ni kedah, I letak kat sini. Okay. So if like that, it will take very, very, very long, right? For one person to sort through all this letter. So actually, they have a machine to help sort. So this machine, they will read the surat. So let's say you tulis uh, to my good friend in Kedah. Then you write the alamat lah of your friend. So the machine will read the alamat to sort it. So when you see the word Kedah, uh, then he'll put it in one corner already. Okay, so this is text recognition. Okay, next. This one is the fun one. Intelligent robots. How many of you actually got, got the opportunity, ada peluang, play with this intelligent robot? Go or not? Anybody play for with robot that is intelligent one? Okay, I see some say yes, some say no. Okay, kalau tada peluang kan, actually, you can come over to my tempat kerja. Anyone know where's my tempat kerja or not? Just now I say where. Okay, so I work in Tekdong Penang. So if you don't know what is Tekdong Penang, it's actually a science center. Maksud dia, uh, dalam tempat ni ada exhibit. So exhibit, exhibit ada banyak. Ada seratus lebih. So one few of exhibit, we have some smart robots for you all to play. Okay. So if you tak pernah main, never had a chance to play, if you're free, you can always come over to Tekdong Penang to come and try yourself to play all these robots. Okay. We are open every day now from 10 to 7. Okay. Open every day. Okay, so please feel free to come if you want to testing, testing, play this robot. Who knows? Maybe after you play, you ask your parents to buy or so. Okay, so the last part we want to talk about AI is called computer vision. So what is computer vision? So computer vision is the, the system that the computer uses to recognize the objects that they see. Okay, so let's say lah, you have a program that uh, you ask to sort kucing dengan anjing. Okay, you want the program to uh, decide what is a kucing, what is an anjing. So do you think the computer can you just tell him, hey, computer, uh, pergi sort uh, kucing dengan anjing. Do you think the computer faham tak? Okay, of course the computer tak faham. First thing first, the computer don't even know what is a kucing, what is an anjing. All right? So we need to 
teach the computer what is a kucing and anjing for it to differentiate. Alright? Untuk bezakan apa itu kucing dengan anjing. So, what they use to differentiate? They use something called computer vision. That means apa yang they are observed in the image. Okay? Bukan, it's not, uh, they can use, some of it, they use uh, camera, like uh, your webcam to 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 see the image. But on screen, they can read the image as well, okay? Okay, so these are a few of the examples of uh, AI that we can see in our everyday life. So maybe if you all got encountered AI before, maybe you all can share with me also. What are some of the examples of AI that you already experienced? Apa jenis AI yang pernah uh, anda semua gunakan? Got or not? If you all got used before AI, you all can mention in the chat, okay? Maybe something new that even me, I also never heard before, okay? All right. So next part. Next part. Now I'm going to show you. Uh, just now I tell you all the example. Now I'll show you what is actually uh, how they we use AI in our everyday life. Okay. So maybe this contoh a bit uh, kuno already. I think nobody use Snapchat anymore, kan? Tada, kan? Ada ke orang masih guna Snapchat? I think most people already use TikTok, right? TikTok. So in TikTok or even uh, Instagram, they have something called a filter. Filter. Pernah main tak filter dalam Instagram atau TikTok? Where you can add all these effects to your your face, to your camera. So if you see in this example, right? You see this uh, girl in the iPad? Ada the telinga kucing or whatever, right? So actually, right? Even if she move her head, the ears, the telinga, will follow her. So how do this do? How how do they do that? Magic, ah? No, no, no. It is AI application of AI? Okay, it's programmed to follow the head. Okay, so this is a example. You can you can you can play around in your Instagram or TikTok. It's called filter. You all play cuba cuba lah. Okay, I think now nowadays got a lot. Okay, so the next example is Alexa. I'm not sure if everyone familiar tak dengan Alexa ini. Anybody got own Alexa? Anybody milik tak Alexa ini? So what is Alexa? Oh, some of y'all know. Ah, huh? some of y'all got. Oh, very nice. Ah. Huh? So Alexa can is a program, is a is a system that can how to say make your life easier. Okay, it's something to do with home automation. Okay, home automation. So what is home automation? Maybe this is Tila you only heard for. I give your chanto can. So you can ask Alexa, you will probably say Alexa, uh, sila buka lampu. Then this program will online for you. Okay, that means you don't have to go press the switch anymore. You can just say it out. You know, macam magic lah. You can say Alexa, please on the TV. Or Alexa, please turn on the aircon. You don't have to move anymore. You can just say your command. Boleh dah. So this is Alexa. Alright, so Alexa is Amazon's one, Amazon. So Google got their own Google Home system. So Alexa is owned by Amazon. Okay. Okay, so maybe y'all tak boleh imagine kan, I cakap macam ni, let me show y'all, what, what does it look like? Okay, how does, how do people use Alexa? Okay.
Okay, so you all saw the video just now, right? You all uh, saw, right, what Alexa can do. So in the beginning, you all, do you all see Iron Man? You all, do you all know Iron Man? Everyone know Iron Man, kan? Kenal, kan? So Iron Man, he got something called Jarvis. Jarvis. So Alexa is something like Jarvis, okay? But of course, Alexa cannot do all the flying, flying things. Lah. Cannot say, you know, bring my suit or what, okay? Only can help you control fan and TV, <laughs> all right? Hey, and one more thing. Do you all notice just now the Alexa is used where? Where is the video? Where do you think this video was recorded? This video actually was recorded in Malaysia. That means Alexa already available in Malaysia. Okay. So if you think, right, uh, maybe, how to say, if you think that you your life is so busy until you need uh, assistant, then you can go get this Alexa. All right. Fatin, what do you think? Do you think you want to own Alexa or not? Yes, of course. If it is cheap, I would love to have an Alexa at home. Ah, uh, kalau murah, saya nak juga ada satu kat rumah sebab senang lah. Tak payah lah tutup pintu tutup lampu, tak payah lah jalan pergi buka something. Ah, uh, so it's easy. My life will be easier if I have Alexa at home. Ah, uh, hidup saya lebih senang, lebih mudah kalau ada Alexa kat rumah. Who agree okay with me? Siapa setuju dengan saya? <laughs> kalau murah lah, kalau mahal, maybe we will need to consider, need to save money to buy. How much is it? Mm, not sure. Not sure how much is it. Tim, you know how much is it? How much is it to install an Alexa uh, on Google Home? I I think uh, the Alexa, you saw the 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 bulat-bulat thing, right? That one, ha, ha, berapa ha. ratus ringgit lah. But in Ooh. order to guna the facility kan, Mm. There's a subscription fee that you need to pay. Oh. So, so kita kena install an apps untuk uh, that that small thing to work, is it? Yeah, betul, betul, betul. Oh, jadi kena install something lah. Kena install yes, dulu yes. apps dia. Kena beli benda tu dulu that we don't know mm. how much is it. <laughs> okay, okay. Hmm, I believe... Wouldn't would, would it be easier if we have Alexa at work? Then we ask Alexa to do all our to work. To do our work. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Then kita makan gaji buta. <laughs> eh, <laughs> tak, I, company bayar I, I bayar mm. Alexa. Oh, so yeah, okay yeah, lah. yeah. Workflow, mm. workflow. Mm. Idea yang bagus. <laughs> Idea yeah, yang bernas. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this technology for now is not that cheap. Okay, not that cheap. But in the future, mm. when more people are using it, then it will be cheaper. Usually, macam tu lah. Start, mm, start, yeah, won't, yeah. Be that, won't be that. Uh, won't be that cheap lah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, mm-hmm. Fatin. Okay. Okay. So there is Alexa, but now, uh, actually, Amazon they're coming up with something new. Okay, something new. You all probably got here before, probably not here before. Okay. Let me show you all.
Okay, so that was uh, Amazon Astro. They actually come out with a robot version of Alexa. Because they realize, can they realize if let's say you're in the toilet doing your business, then your Alexa is in the wrong tamu in the living room. How do you control Alexa then? You cannot generate that loud, right? Probably Alexa cannot hear you or so. So now they make a robot that can follow you around. That means wherever you're in the house, right? They are kind of Ikut, then uh, whenever you give him a task, he will do. Hey, but not. Do you think you want this in your house? So even when you are not at home, you sound, the sound you saw, right? Boleh jadi macam security guard. Tolong jaga rumah. So you can, when let's say ada perompak masuk dalam rumah kan, after detect, they can automatically dial police. Then they can call police datang. Then when you balik rumah time, tiba-tiba nampak polis tahan the perompak. You don't even know what's happening. All this is done by the robot automatically. So this one is the newest product by Amazon after Alexa. Okay. So you see now, very kecil, very very cute, right? Very comel. So next time in the future, maybe they'll create a robot kan. There's uh, sebiji macam manusia di. That means the you'll be walking around like a orang gaji lah, like a, like a maid, you know, following you around. So maybe we can see that in the next 10 years. All right. Okay, so now, just now we saw how uh, Alexa and this Astrobot uh, is utilizing AI. Now, in our homes, now let's see how AI is helping in the factory. Okay, dalam, dalam uh, factory. Okay, let's see some of the examples in the factory. Huh? No sound? Cannot hear me? Can hear code. Okay, so now I show you all some uh, how we use AI in our work life. Just now is in our home life. Okay, now is work life. Okay, so you can see here uh, this machine is actually sorting uh, pancake, 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 tau tak pancake. So what this machine doing is is making sure the the pancake is not uh, overlapping other pancake, tak lapik. You see, so it removes any pancake that is overlapping. You see how fast the machine works or not? This one also not controlled by any human or no. This one is just the machine CAD, then they'll do the action itself. Okay, so this is one example they use in the factory, in the kilang. Okay, so other, other, other AI you can see also very changge, but this one I'm not sure kalau Malaysia sudah ada atau tak lah. This one is in America, okay? I'll show you all the video.
Okay, so in this video just now you saw, right? You all saw how the the robot yang nampak macam yang Roomba, you know Roomba, the vacuum cleaner, delivering all the parcels, sorting the parcel. This one also is automatic one. That means not controlled by human. Okay? So in the video, you see, right? Walaupun banyak robot yang tengah jalan kat lantai, tak pernah accident. Okay? There's no accident one. They won't crash into each other because they are smart enough to uh, avoid one another. So this this robot right will be very helpful because robot kan tak perlu uh, tak 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 jatuh sakit lah apa apa lah tak payah ambil cuti. So maybe once in a while kena charging ke atau kena maintenance itu je. So it's quite efficient from a energy and cost standpoint for for the kilang kilang okay so the example just now i show you is in china in china all right okay now i show you all another video another video of uh another type of robot is totally different one okay you all see you all see lah you all see okay Cool ta robot ni. Cool not. You see the how this robot move? It moves just like a human, right? Macam manusia. So kan, this robot also is automatic tau. It's not like ada orang control kat belakang. Ah, kiri, kanan, lompat, macam tu. Tak, 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 tak. The robot, he will see the obstacle in front. Let's say ada kotak kat depan. So the robot will make its own decision macam mana nak rintangi this halangan. So do I jump? Do I go around it? The robot will make the own decision. Okay. So this is this kind of robot is more kami panggil as humanoid lah. Humanoid maksud dia serupa dengan manusia. So can you all think where will they use this style robot? Kat mana dia orang nak guna robot kat macam ni? Where do you think they will use? Is it they will sell this robot as a uh, your friend? Next time, you can become your best friend, lady. So in school time, you don't have to make any more friends. You say, I already got one best friend. My robot friend. Okay, someone asked a very interesting question. He asked, robot have brain? It means, robot tu ada otak ta? What do you all think? Do you think robot have brain or not? Okay, so you all need to imagine, robot... Uh, actually, sebenarnya, of course, got brain, got brain, but it's not macam uh, otak manusia. It's not like you know, you see before our brain, not you see in the picture before, right? Ah, uh, ta 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 ta. Not doesn't look like that. Their brain is, of course, computer part, electronic, electronic, electronic. Okay. So kalau you buka computer kamu kan, your computer also actually got brain, got brain. The computer got brain. But of course, it doesn't look like our brain. So, which part of the computer is your brain? Anybody know or not? Wow, oh, someone gave the correct answer I saw. Uh, core Busan, correct, is the processor. Or we call as CPU. Okay? So, that is your computer's brain. All the, your, all the tasks that your computer do, right, is uh, controlled by that part okay by your chip yeah your chip your microprocessor chip okay 
So that is the computer brain. So when you imagine brain, don't think of our manusia, the lembek-lembek punya brain thing, okay? It's different. So robot actually got brain, okay? So this robot, right, uh, they are at the setengah pihak, they are trying to use it as a part of their defense system untuk tentera, tentera, you know? Kejar tentera. So next time, right, if you all can imagine, uh, maybe in next 20, 30 years, right, bila ada perang, got war, it won't be fought by humans anymore. Bukan manusia yang akan pergi lawan. You probably be all robot. Hebat tak? What do you all think? Is it, isn't it very hard to imagine kan? Ada perang tapi tak ada manusia. So if you all, if you all uh, watch the movie for Terminator, have you all watched Terminator before? Terminator, ha, something like that. All the robots will fight each other. Something like that. Okay. So that is uh that that is some of the usage for the robot just now. Lah. The the robot is created by a company called Boston Dynamic. Okay. They are very company yang paling hebat lah, I say, when it comes to creating all these robot. Because memang canggih robot the orang. If you if you all go watch the videos, right, you will also tepegun. Tengok dia robot. Sometimes really act like human. The robot really act like human. Okay. Okay. So next part, let's uh, go on. Move on. Okay. Next one, I not sure you pernah dengar tak? Uh, self driving car. That means kereta yang boleh jalan sendiri. Anybody here before of this self driving car? Got here before or not? Pernah duduk tak? Have you all seen in before a car that can drive itself? Maybe Malaysia, maybe belum ada, but in some countries, they actually have this self-driving car. Yeah, some of you all are right. Yeah, okay. So the most famous, the most well-known self-driving company car is what? Tesla, okay? Tesla. So Tesla is created by this guy named Elon Musk. So his company uh, develops these uh, self-driving cars. Okay. Yeah, other countries also got, but uh, Tesla is the most famous. La. Tesla is the most famous. Okay. In Malaysia, probably they don't have fully automatic self-driving car, but there are some cars that they got this function called auto parking. Auto parking. Okay, so what does this auto parking do? Is help you park kereta lah. It means kan, you drive up to this parking spot. So you tengok, oh, this driving spot macam susah nak reverse lah. I pun tak sure I boleh reverse without uh, langgar kereta lain tak. So you just tekan bat- satu butang. Uh, uh, kereta, please park this car. Please, please park the car now. So then the car will park itself. So you don't have to worry lah whether to sempit ka apa ka the car will park itself no problem. So because ah uh, when parking you're not driving very fast kereta tak laju, so the is is moving very slowly. So that one is still quite safe. That's why we have it in Malaysia. The reason why we don't see a lot of self-driving cars around yet is because this technology. Masih, masih bahaya. Okay? Masih bahaya. Because why? If let's say you ask the car to drive you from, let's say, Penang to Kuala Lumpur, maybe the journey is around 3 jam. 3 jam to reach from Penang to Kuala Lumpur. Then, during the journey, you uh, fall asleep. You tertidur. Then suddenly, the car, right, got some error. Ada masalah. But you sleeping, you don't know. Then the car, go knock somebody else. Then, uh, jadi accident. So, because this technology is bukan 100% yet, right? Bukan 100%. That's why it's not available to everybody yet. Okay? Kerajaan masih, uh, they still not sure lah. I say, oh, yo, still dangerous lah this one. It's not 100% no accident. Okay? So because of this 1% got problem, 
we don't implement it until we get 100%, ah, baru okay. Okay, because you all know kan, car accident, ah, bukan benda kecil ah, can result in death one. So it's not a small matter. So they need to study, 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 study to make sure there is ah, 100% safe. Then only okay. Then only semua orang ada peluang untuk duduk ah, self-driving car. Okay. Okay, so maybe I show you all what it, what it feels like to actually sit inside a self-driving car. Okay, this is one of the test run they do in a self-driving car by Tesla. Okay. Okay, so this is the example of a uh, self-driving car. You all feel, after seeing this video, do you all feel like uh, owning one? Nak duduk tak? Self-driving car. You see right, this guy, his tangan kat mana? Kat kaki je. Pegang kaki je. His kerja is what? Pegang kaki. Right. This is a car. Yes, this is a car. Automatic everything. You don't have to uh, tell him where to go. All semua dalam sistem dah. It will bawa sendiri. So you see, the braking and all that, right? Let's say you got traffic light, they can henti sendiri. Okay? When they see got traffic light, you'll stop itself. If kalau merah. Okay? So this is self-driving car. Actually, the concept is memang bagus. Memang bagus. It's not a ghost inside the car, you know. It's not someone hiding inside the car, controlling the car. Bukan, bukan, bukan. Yang ni AI, the system yang control the creator. Okay? So, uh, this, like I said, lah, uh, technology ni is not 100% uh, safe yet. Uh, belum safe 100%. That's why we don't have it everywhere. Bukan semua orang, bukan semua tempat ada. Okay? We are, they are still developing, developing, developing until they are sure 100% selamat. Uh, then everyone will get opportunity to own a self-driving car ID. Okay? So, for myself, right? For myself, I pun bawa kereta hari-hari, pergi kerja. Then, every day I go work, sure got jam one, sure got jam. Cannot avoid. So, why jam? I pun tak tahu. Kenapa jam? Sometimes ada kemalangan, sometimes uh, kereta rosak, halang jalan, then jam. But with self-driving car kan, I believe, I believe, saya percaya, when everyone has self-driving car, Jam kan akan hilang. There won't be any more jam. You all know why or not? You all know why? It's because simple reason. If uh, everyone is driving self-driving car, right? Everyone is having a self-driving car. Duduk dalam kereta. Kereta bawa sendiri. That means all the decision is made by the AI. So manusia tu uh, takkan campur tangan. The human won't uh, won't make any decision for the car. So meaning, right, the speed and all that is controlled by the car. So the creator gun, uh, based on the system, they takkan bawa gila-gila punya. Sometimes on the road, you see kan, yang uh, some driver, they they will drive macam ular. They drive macam ular tau. Pernah nampak tak? They drive macam ular. So with a self-driving car, you won't have this problem. All the creator will jalan sangat baik. Oh, jalan straight. Uh, the adab is very good lah. It means uh, dia akan bagi jalan, letak signal. Won't have all these perangai manusia yang buruk-buruk. Okay? So, without all these perangai buruk, of course, accident ke, apa ke, akan kurang. So, because of that, jam pun akan kurang. So, in the end, it's a good thing. 
this self-driving car. Even though ada now is ada people say it's not safe lah, but the concept is good. I percaya. Okay. So there is Tesla, the self-driving car. All right. Okay, this one just now I talked about the post office. Ingat tak? So like I say, this one, the the AI will help to sort the letter, the surat. So kalau you ask me to sort one one or two letter, okay lah, cepat. Why if you ask somebody to sort like beribu-ribu letter, beribu-ribu surat, thousands of letters, how do you sort it? If ask me to sort one by one like that, I will go crazy. Confirm will go crazy. So what usually they will do is they'll have a they have a machine that can sort all this. So they will use text text recognition. So they will baca apa alamat yang tertulis dalam surat tu, then they will sort accordingly. Okay. Okay. So I want to show you some other examples of uh that I didn't tell you yet. Just now I talk about I think I talk about gaming right. So I show your example of uh, AI in gaming. Okay, AI in gaming. This this AI in gaming is a bit different. It's not really a game. It's not really a game. But uh, you all know what is the game? Hide and seek or not? Hide and seek. Hide and seek in Bahasa call what? Uh? Anybody know or not? I suddenly terlupa pula. What, is, what do you call hide and seek in Bahasa? Okay. So these uh these engineers, these engineers they created this high exit game with this uh AI with this robot. Okay. Ah yeah, my sorok sorok yeah betul, betul 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 betul. Okay. So they are in in this sorok sorok game got two two pihak right. One is the the pencari, one is the penyorok. Correct or not? So we have a seeker and a hider. Okay, so what is the role of these two, 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 two people? One is to go find the hider, right? Correct or not? One is to hide from the seeker. Okay, so the game is very simple. So these uh, these people who created this, this, this scenario, they just tell the robot this. Okay, now you are penyorok. So you bagi sorok. You jangan bagi yang pencari tu cari you. Okay. Then they'll tell the 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 pencari. Okay, you pencari. Now, ah, uh, kerja you pergi cari yang penyorot tu. Okay, they just tell that to the robot ni. They never do anything sedih. Then they observe how the robot work. Okay, so you see lah, you see how they work. So you can see in this video, right? Got two people, ah, uh, got two, got two colors, right? Of people, one blue, one red. So the blue is the ponyoro. They are trying to hide from the seekers. Okay. So another extra thing is they have boxes for the the robot to play with. But macam mana nak guna box itu is totally up to the robot. The robot yang decide. Ah, I see somebody in the comment mention open AI. Yes, you are correct. This program is actually using the open AI system. Okay, open AI system. Okay, so now you see all the rules already. Let's see how, what they do during the game. Okay, let's see what they do during the game. Huh?
So you all saw right in the video how it's not animation, you know, it's not animation. It's an actual game. It's an actual game. But the robot yang mind the game. Not animation, huh? So you all saw right how the robot at first they hide themselves yang guna bo- uh, kotak. They use the kotak. Kan? They use the kotak to block the entrance. So the uh, pencari, the seeker cannot reach them. So what did the seeker do? They notice there's a another block yang ram for them to climb the, over the box. Okay? So this this game, they actually play not only one or two times, you know. They play millions and millions and millions of times. That means the same scenario, they orang akan ulang to find the best solution. Okay? To find the best solution. Okay? So, memang hebat the AI can learn. How... In the end, if you saw right, uh, the penyorok dah tahu dah. This pencari, they are using this block to climb over my kotak. So what did the penyorok do? They go hide their box. They go hide the box, then the pencari cannot climb in anymore already. This is the thinking of an AI. It's not, it's really like a human thinking, right? If you're in that situation, you'll probably do the same thing. Correct or not? So is this open AI is really, 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 really advanced type of uh, artificial intelligence ID. Ah, uh, so actually this open AI, right? They they got test in other real games. Uh, I'm not sure you all heard this game before or not. Anybody heard of uh, Dota, Dota or League of Legends? Have you heard of this game before, Dota or League of Legends? If you all never heard before, is it's a multiplayer game. Okay. So every year, every year, this game ada pertandingan. Pertandingan dunia. That means the best team from setiap negara akan setai pertandingan ni. So pertandingan ni, they will uh, lawan lah, lawan, lawan. Lawan sampai uh, satu team tertinggal. The best team. So what they do kan, they will use this open AI to lawan the champion. The champion of the tournament. Okay, so you guess who win, open AI or the champion? Siapa menang? Your guess and see. Siapa menang? Okay, actually, the open AI menang, and menang dengan very very senang. The AI so hebat in their game that the human champion got no chance at all. They kalah teruk. Kalah teruk. Kalah teruk sampai no, no, tak ada semangat nak main lagi until they surrender. So this is the kehebatan of uh, this open AI. Of course, now the open AI, they are using in, uh, uh, they are using in, they are still testing lah, testing in games, in games. So when it's advanced enough kan, then probably they will use in other real life scenario. Tata scenario apa lagi lah. They're still testing. So, yeah. This is the kehebatan of AI. Uh, I'm not talking about the normal AI uh, in Dota 2 or the League of Legends. Uh. Not the one you play against. Uh. No, 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 no. Different, different. That that open AI, they, they use it only during the competition ni to test against the champion. Okay? So, you, of course, you tak ada chance lah nak lawan dengan open AI ni. You cannot find like, you cannot find. Okay? It's a special arrangement between the developer of the open AI dengan the pertandingan. Okay? So, you got no chance to play against this open AI. Okay? So, there is, uh, you see how they implement AI in games, okay? Of course, you can see in your own games that you play, macam, let's say, for example, you're all familiar with Minecraft, kan? Minecraft. Minecraft, semua pernah dengar, kan? Minecraft. So, in my, Minecraft, if you play the, in single player, or whatever mode lah, whatever mode in Minecraft, 
kan ada yang the creeper ka got the spider ka ada yang the zombie ka or the skeleton ka who is controlling all this actually who is controlling is it your friend controlling ah no right it's not your friend controlling or your brother or your sister or your whatever is actually the ai that's controlling all this movement okay so there is a uh, of course the ai in game macam minecraft is not that changge lah not the changge because zombie too kan he just walk straight to you only right he won't like elak elak all kan he just jalan terus only kan the zombie he just attack in one straight line only kan so this kind of ai is not the advanced so if you nampak yang your your zombie yang boleh elak elak you know can go left can go right can go jump you know can block ah uh, then only you will see this kind of advanced ai so in minecraft the ai they use is quite simple quite simple because they scared ah uh, if the ai terlampau canggih pun after all the player complain the zombie always kill me or the creeper always blow me up so tak boleh so to make it playable they use this simple ai okay so uh that's all the sharing i have for today but don't leave yet okay so kan today we covered we covered the theory part of ai apa itu ai how we use ai in our daily lives okay so i want to ask you all a question now after learning about ai kan do you think you want to create your own ai tak? you want to create your own ai or not anybody want to after seeing this video all kan want to create their own ai system na create robot sendiri ke apa ke create self driving car ke na buat yang sendiri who who wants hands up hands up okay na hands up lah say yes 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 okay if you all want to learn how to create your ai system no problem if you all know this this program is actually ah uh, empat minggu empat minggu that means you have four workshop four workshop so today is the first day so from next week onward we will learn how to create our own ai what ai sendiri nice one not okay or not so next week onwards we start to make our own ai we learn how to make our own ai so maybe some of you all already terujat-ujat tah tak boleh tahan you will be asking me how 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 to do the ai how we learn how we learn how we learn use what to learn okay let me show you we are going to use a program it's called picto blocks okay this program is called picto blocks so picto blocks is created by this uh, company called stampedia nampak tak ke atas tu stampedia okay so we will be using this picto blocks to create our own ai system okay our own ai system then you ask me oh macam tu ah okay 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 i guna picto blocks to create this uh my own ai system but what type of ai system can i create okay don't worry let me show you some examples of the program that you can create yang ni contoh saja in 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 actual fact you can create many 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 more but this one is just uh contoh okay so i show you all Okay, so this is picto blocks. So if you, if some of you are uh, uh, notice right, it's actually using Scratch. So if you all know what is Scratch, it's actually a block-based programming. Okay, so 
this kind of programming is memang sesuai untuk semua umur. It doesn't matter kalau you are tujuh tahun, you are enam tahun, you are sepuluh tahun or tiga belas tahun. Tak apa. It's very easy to learn. Okay? So, we'll be using these picto blocks to create our own AI system, our own AI program. So, some of the contoh, right, if you all noticed earlier in the video, there is a, a celebrity detection program. It means, macam mana tau? You tunjuk gambar celebrity to the program. Then, the program will tell you siapa celebrity ni. Ah, hebat tak? That means, if let's say you see an actor, right, actor in the movie, you lupa nama dia. Alamak, tiba-tiba lupa nama actor ini pula. So, you just uh, show this image to the to your AI. Then your AI will tell you, oh, this celebrity is siapa-siapa-siapa-siapa-siapa. Okay? So, uh, from next week onwards, we will use this uh, this 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 program, PictoBlocks. Okay? So, how to install these PictoBlocks? I will share the link in the description, uh, in the YouTube, and also in the Facebook. Okay? So I'll share the description. You all just follow the link. Uh, in the in the link, ada dua dua barang. There's two things in the link that I'll share. Okay. So the first thing is the installer. Okay, installer. Then the second second uh, file you see is the manual. Macam mana nak install? So actually, ah uh, senang je lah. The you just tekan the installer, double click, then habis dah. You all install game before kan kat computer. Everyone faham, tahu kan macam mana install game kat komputer? Ah, it's the same. It's the same. Okay? For those of you who tak pernah, tak pernah tengok langsung apa itu coding, no problem. No problem. This picto blocks is so easy to use. Anybody can do. Anybody can do. And after you go through these four, four, four workshops, I can guarantee you that you'll be able to uh, create your own AI system. Okay? Okay. Excited or not? You're ready or not? Okay, yeah? So, uh, you all look out for the link that we will share in the Facebook and YouTube description. Alright? Okay. Uh, looks like we have some time left. Okay. if we Since we have some time left, right? Actually, I want to show you all another interesting game. Anybody here pernah dengar tak uh, what is Akinator? Akinator. Pernah tak? Anybody here before? What what is Akinator? Okay, tak apa. For those who tak pernah dengar kan, uh, let me show you, let me show you. Ah, uh, orang ni. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, uh, let me share the screen. Uh, let me share the screen. Patin, can you bring up my screen sharing? Ah, okay. Thank you, Fatin. Okay, so this is Akinator. So, I, I'm, uh, yeah, some of you already heard of this before. So, I'll just explain it for those who tak pernah tengok. What is this? Okay, so this is actually a game. Game. So what is this game? You see tak uh, orang ni? Or oh, this guy, this guy. This uh, Alibaba looking guy. So he got one magic power. What is his magic power? His magic power is he can guess what you're thinking. Ah, he can guess what you're thinking. For example, right? If let's say you're thinking of, uh, you're thinking of, say, let's say, Li Chong Wei. Ah, he will figure out. He can. He will know that you're thinking of Li Chong Wei. Ah, hebat or not? Okay. So maybe some of you tak percaya. Okay, let me show you how is it. How does it go? Ah. Okay. So the first thing first, he will tanya. Ah, uh, what is the game theme, the tema of your if of your thing? So let's say I want to. Okay, okay. I tell you all first the person that I'm thinking of. The person that I'm thinking of is uh, uh, who? Uh? Okay, someone famous. Lah, someone famous. Let's say I think of Cristiano Ronaldo. Anybody know? Everybody know Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Okay. 
So I want this Akinator to guess Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay? Okay, so Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, let's see if he can guess correctly or not. Huh? Is your character a real person? Yes. Sing on stage? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Famous because of YouTube? No. No. Uh, no. Yes. Uh, I think so. Uh, yes. No. Yes. Yes. Ah, you see. Managed to guess correctly in 12 questions. Hebat tak? Macam magic kan? Just by asking a few questions, he can guess. This Akinator can guess who I, am I talking about. Ah, then you all probably ask me, how? Macam mana? Is this really magic or not? Okay. Let me tell you all the secret behind Akinator. Secret lah. I share this secret with you all. You all don't go simply tell people, okay? Okay? This is secret lah. Okay. Akinator, actually, what he, how he know all this answer is because he's a learning robot. Learning. That means kan, at the start, uh, this this Akinator wujud maybe nearly 10 years already, this program. So at the start, he probably tak kenal banyak orang. So through all these questions that people ask kan, all these games they play over and over and over again until he can predict based on the soalan that he gave you. Okay? So uh, just now, I think Fatin shared the link to this Akinator if you're right. Uh, you'll pergi try yourself. You can go try yourself to see whether is it that heba or not. You can guess or not. Okay? You can go test yourself. Then you all know. How heba is this guy? Akinator. Of course, uh, the more famous the person, the easier is it to guess for him. So you all don't try to think of two famous character. Like uh, someone mentioned Naruto. Naruto too famous already. You think of some small, small character in Naruto. Like some villager or whatever. Lah. Then you test him. Okay? Of course, of course, the character must be famous. Lah. You cannot ask this Akinator to guess your mother or father if your mother or father is not famous. Of course, Akinator don't know your mother or father. Okay? Okay, so y'all can go try this after this. Y'all, please feel free to play with this. Alright? Okay, so that's the end of today's workshop. I hope uh, all of you got learned something new about AI. I hope all of you are excited for the next few weeks coming. There will be learning to how to actually create our own AI. Okay? So, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, one more thing. I nearly forget. The quiz. The quiz. Okay? The quiz. Uh, Fatin, can you uh, paste the link to the quiz in the chat? Okay. So, if you all want uh, the cert, right? The cert, the certificate for this program, please remember to do the quiz. Okay? Please remember to do the quiz. Huh? The quiz, don't worry. Very simple only. Very simple. Even a baby can answer. Very simple. Okay? So remember uh, to do the quiz if you want the cert. Alright? Okay? Okay. So once again, before I go, I want to remind everyone. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel or our Facebook page, please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. In case I have any announcement I want to make regarding this program, then you all can see it immediately, okay? So, please remember to uh, subscribe and follow our Facebook page, okay? Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching, for following today's lesson. I hope you all had a great time. So, I want to say also, once again, thanks to our partners, our supporters, uh, mostly, as well as Stampedia. Uh, thank you very much. Without the help of Mosti, we won't be able to have this program. 
then I won't be able to share all these wonderful things about AI with you all. So really, thank you very much, Mosti. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you once again, everyone, for watching. I hope you all had a great time. Okay, I wish you all uh, happiness and health so you all can follow, you all be with us next week. Okay, same time, uh, same place. Uh, not same place, uh, we will come out with a new link for you all to follow, okay, to join. So please follow our Facebook and YouTube for next week's link, okay, for next week's link. So same time, different place, I guess. Okay, bye-bye. See you all next week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.